All right, all right. What's up, people, man? I want to talk about this situation out of Colorado where this man, a stupid motherfucker, has been given 143 years in prison. Now, you want to know how many victims did he end the life of? Um, how many different locations in the crime and how severe was the crimes? Well, let me tell you this. No one lost their lives. This dude pointed a gun at some workers at a Burger King because this idiotic drug dealer, rather than selling drugs, making money to go out and buy food, he wanted to buy the food with the drugs. I guess he feels like, hell, Burger King hires nothing but crackheads that I give me a free Whopper meal or the Impossible Burger <laughs> with these drugs and shit. This stupid motherfucker, the stupid ass people who fronted him the drugs, or did he re-up on this shit? However that shit worked, uh, police find all these motherfuckers. Same way y'all found the pit, the people that Matthew Perry brought drugs from and now they in trouble. Get the people that sold this dummy motherfucker the drugs too. But, you know, looking at the situation like this is extreme. And it, you hear it comes from out of Colorado. And you know how, you know, white you view of Colorado and, you know, the... You know, is justice fair? Is justice balanced there? Because Colorado is the same place. And I think even what happened in Aurora, where if I don't know if you guys remember a few years ago, where there was a truck driver who lost uh, brakes to his uh, big rig and ended up barreling downhill out of control because he had no brakes and slammed into some vehicles and killed people. And they tried to railroad the hell out of that dude. I think they ended up trying to get that guy like 30 years of life or something like that. And there was a huge outcry. And I think even higher courts had to step in, even reduce that. Like, it was like out of the dude's control. He wasn't intentional, high or any of that. Not under the influence, truck lost it. But being he wasn't white and him, you know, being a, a foreign guy, they try to railroad the dude. So it's looking at this situation like that. But when looking at it and the more and more when I look at things, because I ain't one of these people all oh, free, free the dude and free that. I ain't with none of that type of shit. You're a fucking idiotic motherfucker breaking, you know, breaking the law, committing crimes, being a threat to other people in society, then you need to go. So what they did with this fool is when he left the Burger King at the point of the gun, he went into a convenience store, put a gun at some lady's head, walked out of there, went to the woman's apartment that he knows, and she wouldn't let him in, so he starts shooting in there. And so with that, based on the number of people in there, he was charged with the multiple attempted murders. And so that's them being real petty about that shit. But then again, this guy is a threat. He's a fool. And, you know, to have him back on the streets could be you putting others' lives at danger. So I think the best thing, since dude couldn't get his life right, uh, is to, you know, get rid of him. Rid him from off the streets. He couldn't get things right. But damn, 143 years just sound fucking extreme. And they talk about his max sentence was 400 years. I hope the white folks of Colorado faces these same type of punishment. And this ain't saying something just handed down to black folks. Because I don't even think murderers have been given that kind of time. Even though you may put a life in prison on, on some of their... Uh, some of their sentences, but you probably got murderers in Colorado who may get like 25 years and then get back out on the street. So if you're going to be tough like that, that toughness needs, needs to be handed down. And that should be the president set and given this guy. Now, I'm not arguing for this guy's freedom at all. Like, in my opinion, fuck him. But uh, that's all I got. Catch you on the next one. Peace.